This isn't the first time a Warner has found himself in this situation. The quickest and easiest way to get rid of her? Pay her off. I tried. It didn't work. Anyone I know? This woman? Greta Saunders. Greta? You do know her then. Greta's an intelligent woman who doesn't suffer fools. What were you thinking? Obviously, I wasn't. Your father was clever, if not devious in this area. He chose women he could easily control, easily dispose of. I'm not my father, Garth. I'm nothing like my father. Greta was a one-off. She was a mistake. I just want to put it behind me and get on with my life, with Tony. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Suppose you should take some of the stuff to Yvonne's with you. What stuff? Well, there's tomatoes, half a block of cheese, some mushrooms. I can't take minky cheese to Yvonne's. It's not minky. It'll just be a waste if we leave it in the fridge going moldy. Hey, um, i got to go out. Where? Oh, yeah. Cold train. Why? Make sure I filled in my hours. What's wrong with picking up the phone? Oh, come on, Shan, I won't be long. We're going up north tomorrow. We're going to be in each other's faces for the next four weeks. In each other's faces, having a baby, don't you mean? Oh, please. Yeah, all right. Okay, see you soon. Tama. You know, when baby gets a bit older, we're going to have all the time in the world to get on with our careers. You know, me with my social work and you with your music. Yeah, yeah, I know. See ya. Hey, Kaz. Hi. Guess what? I've been poached. You are now looking at Coltrane's new bar manager, Maitre D. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. That's right. I told her where to go and stick it. Yeah, she's also going to look after the kitchen while you're gone. Cool, eh? Ain't going to change my menu, though. Oh, relax. Why fix what ain't broke? Hey, um, have Boss go and them being back in? Not yet, bro. Well, I'm here now. Might as well have a beer. I've managed to secure Greta a place on the steering committee of the Hutchins Gallery. She was very pleased. I'll bet. She's aware that any contact with you or your family will result in instant dismissal. She won't be giving you any more trouble. Thank you, Garth. It's a big relief. Yeah, well, next time, be a little bit more careful about who you get involved with. Oh, there won't be a next time. I mean it. In fact, uh, I'm thinking of telling Tony the truth about Greta. What are this for? I've just got rid of the problem for you. I know, and I'm grateful. But if we're starting again, I want all the cards on the table. Sign, please. Thank you. I need ten copies of this. Tomorrow morning, all right? Tonight. Would it please have been too much to ask? I'm sorry, who are you? I have dry cleaning to deliver. Well, you better hit the road. Yeah, she and I will go spare from home any later. Hey, um, I thought Vinny and them were coming in for a drink tonight. Oh, they were here earlier, but they bailed. Oh, I was kind of hoping I'd bump into Bosco, too. Really felt like another jam. Yeah, I heard it was good times last night. Oh, it was. Oh, well, good luck with the baby, bro. Hey, give me a call as soon as it's here, okay? I want to know if I've got a goddaughter or a godson. Yeah, all right, I'll call you. All right, see ya. Yeah. Oh. I didn't have your number, bro. I was hoping like hell I'd run into you. How come? Seeing you again meant to happen. Like destiny. Like fate. Stop talking crap, Bosco. Come on, we've got the offer of a lifetime for you. Kalashnikov, the vegans, did you know that? Uh, no. Yeah, real strict. They take a caterer with them everywhere they go, but get this. So you got glandular fever. Cool, eh? Well, not for her, obviously, but definitely for you. Because we talked you up, bro. The job's yours. Hey. Welcome to our crew. Oh, man. Uh, don't say no. No is not an option. I've got to drive up north tomorrow. It's <laughs> a so once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, Tama. Yeah, I know. Hey, what are you still doing up? I just started. I couldn't stop. Oh, hey, and um, your mum called. She's organised for Lenny to come back us up on his way through. No way. Babe, have you had the work done? Oh, I was going to do it up north. Right. Well, um, we'll drive up and we'll just get Lenny to put the big stuff in his ute. Uh, what big stuff? 
You know, like the bassinet and the baby bath. Oh, bar. shit. Leave me alone. I'm nesting. I need to have my stuff around me. Okay, fair enough. Hey, you go sit down and rest, and you watch me work, okay? So, um, how was Coltrane? Pumping? Yeah. Well, guess who's working there now? Who? Your best friend, Jay. Did she get the sack? She reckons she quit once Norman offered her the gig, told who you where to stick it. She's so got the sack. Yeah, probably, but I don't know. Man, I wish I'd been there to see it. Someone needs to deflate that big head of hers. Her last name may be Copeland, but man, inside she is all kahu. You're not worried about working with her again, are you? Because, you know, by the time that we get back, all that stuff will be ancient history. Besides, you can handle her. Oh, look at me. I'm popping out everywhere. You could be the size of this fuddy and I'd still think you're beautiful. Whatever, Romeo. You put your energy into those cupboards. I am going to go put my feet up. But, um, make it quick, eh? service. Delivery by courier at this time of night. That's the least I could do. I thought they'd lost this weeks ago. Must be your lucky day. Jordan 3 is back tomorrow at the earlier time, quarter past 11, and later this evening the honeymoon period is definitely over when we meet our team leaders on Operation Transformation at 8.30.